Hey guys, welcome back to Azure Place, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Where last time we had some issues with Zapdos, and I actually realized that I probably should be leveling up my party a little bit. Because right now it's uh, level 16, um, and level 16. So, what I've decided as I'm editing these videos, what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to have the story missions be labeled as story. If I have mandatory stuff I need to do that's rescue missions, I'll list them as rescue. So if you want, you can skip them. And then just go on to the story ones as they come out. But if I gotta do any grinding, I'm not gonna, like, if it's a moment where I can continue on the story but I don't have to, I'm gonna basically just grind. Azure, good morning. Yesterday I did some checking around. Turns out the Hill of the Ancients is apparently in the Great Canyon. You should go there right away. Off to the Great Canyon. Huh? What's the matter? Uh, listen, Chikorita. Huh? Huh? Why do you try so hard? Why? You need to ask me that? It's for someone else? For someone else? Now isn't that cold? We're friends, aren't we, Azure? I want to do my best because it's for you, Azure. That's what this is about. So as always, let's try our best to do well. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do is instead of going directly to the Great Canyon, I'm going to basically just do some grinding. It's going to basically be a quick cut for you guys, but a couple hours for me. So that's going to be a little bit annoying, but what can I do? Um, I'm not going to do any jobs at the time. If I wind up doing any, then that's completely on accident. There are mandatory sections where I'm going to have to do jobs because I need to get my rank up to do story missions or something. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some party members and uh, have them join my adventure and I'm going to level them up. Simple as that. Just go to certain areas to start pounding on things because also uh, me losing a Zapdos a few times, I lost all my items. So that's going to be a little bit annoying because I'm going to need to get some items back too. And that's something I'm going to need to do. All right, well, with that massive amount of training out of the way, it may seem like it took me forever, which it did, but with the magic of editing magic, I actually took a couple days to grind and grind and grind. And uh, yeah, there was a lot of hardship, a lot of times where my belly went empty, and yeah. Otherwise, everything went rather well. Uh, I got to level 21 with both Azure and uh, Chikorita here. Uh, everyone else is like a lower level, but that's just due to how they are. Um, let's see here. Moves. I learned uh, Focus Energy and Leer. I replaced uh, Growl and Tail Whip respectively for those, so that's nice. Uh, Chikorita, on the other hand, he learned nothing. And Lady Ba uh, actually learned Comet Punch, which is kind of like a Fury attack move, where it's like bam, bam, bam. So that's kind of nice. So, uh, yeah, he's uh, kind of been a mainstay in my party a little bit. I also leveled Magnemite as well. That's why Lady Ba is kind of not really, like, as high. But still, he has a lot of stats. Other than that, it's pretty good. So I think I'm good to go. My item list uh, kind of checks out a little bit. I got a lot of Gravel Rocks. I tried saving them instead of throwing them. Bought a couple items from the item shop, that kind of deal. Like the blowback orb, I bought that. So let's head over to the Great Canyon. Finally. <laughs> I feel like it's been forever. This is the Great Canyon. This peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. According to Alex Zam, the Hill of the Ancients is on 13F. Zatu should be there. Azure, let's do our best. Should be rather easy now that I grinded. I hope so, anyway. So, oh wow, okay. Well, I'm gonna explore the floor first because that was a little bit too quickly. Oh hey, it's a Dunsparce. I'm gonna switch over to Bone Club. Oh yeah, that's uh, kind of easy. Ooh, Growl Rock 4, I need more of those. <laughs> but yeah, pretty much the grinding was uh, nothing special, I should say. It was just constant this. <laughs> Finding any enemy using a move on it to get like half a hundred experience every time. 
It uh, was annoying to say the least. But yeah, actually, no, not really. I mean, you get half a hundred, so if I need like 3,400 experience, then that's like. 68 enemies at best. So it Honestly mo more than half the time it's just me holding B and A down and letting them come to me. Yeah, I kind of have the patience for this kind of stuff sometimes. Ooh. Uh let's see. What do you do? Marvel's blocks that enables the use the blocks. Box that enables the user link and D-link moves. Link moves become separated. Their combined PP becomes 0. All right. Really? Okay, I guess I got one little test. And one little test to see, dude. Oh yeah, 48 experience from just those weaker ones, and if I fight the stronger ones, I get like 70 or something like that, right? That's how it was in Mount Thunder for the most part. So yeah, that's kind of how it went for me. Okay, uh, Chick Rita, you're not falling asleep. Really? Okay, they're, they're kind of cutting me some slack here because I was uh, doing nothing but grinding for quite some time. So they're like, oh, hey, do you want the stairs? Do you want the stairs? And I'd be like, eh? <laughs> really? Okay, you're gonna do that, really? How about I link some rocks? I meant to link it. Uh, set and throw. Yeah, you're not getting away. Look at that, 161. Some of the enemies in the earlier areas, too, actually gave me that. Not nearly that much. So, it actually was a rather good time. <laughs> and yeah, uh, considering it took me forever, I kind of don't think people want to actually see me do nothing but that. But the stat gains uh, from it are actually rather nice. It's like... Um, what should I say? Um, you know, I'm gonna give that to Ladybug. And you're not gonna eat it off the top of your head? Okay, how about now? There we go, efficiency expert. Um, I barely found any of those, honestly. Because I didn't really do much other than stay still. That's why I didn't really find too many items, because... I kind of just sat there and then let my belly just drain. Eh. Sometimes I left. That's why I have some items, at least. Because I realized, oh, hey, I'm going to need some items, so I'm going to actually need to play the game a little bit. <laughs> oh, well. What can you do? If you need a grind, you need a grind. That's what RPGs are for. Oh. Okay. I like when that happens. I feel a little better about my party overall because, yeah, I can actually do some damage. Okay, okay, Chick Rita, you, you have some fun there. Uh, wander around and hopefully you'll find the stairs. Or me first. Okay, you found me. Okay. More pokey. I found a couple, uh, what are they, uh, golden scarfs or golden ribbons, whatever the heck they're called. They sell for 2,000 a piece, so those are kind of nice. I found uh, two of those, and then I just wound up selling like a bunch of extra stuff I picked up. The only thing I hate about grinding off camera, because if I don't think you wanted to watch like two weeks of me doing nothing but grinding recording wise, grinding off camera is something I kind of didn't like to do. But then when you realize that, hey, um, when you grind off camera, you may pick up some stuff or get some things that you probably wouldn't had if you didn't grind. And showing that off camera is like, uh, <laughs> it's just kind of awkward, so. I kind of just kept what I actually had to a minimum, so if I did pick up anything really special, I would ki I would keep it, but some things I'm like, mm, not not too sure about that. Okay, get a little bit closer, please. All that grinding in Chikorita still doesn't have a, uh, move that can attack through me. <laughs> Which is really annoying. I hope he gets something. Oh well. Alright, more stairs. I forgot what Floor Chick Rita said because I was kind of on a tangent about grinding. Oh well. Yeah, this that's pretty much what the rescue missions in between levels are. 
Oh, special band. Nice. Uh, let me give that to me, I guess. Pretty much just res uh, when you're doing story, like you level up. But the only reason the rescue missions really exist, other than the fact that hey, it's the game, it pads out the game time because the story is kind of short if you play through just the story. Um, of course, you have all the dungeons to worry about and stuff. But the rescue missions are there to help you level up so you can better prepare for what's coming up. And, um, or you can just go to an area and just grind until your arc is content without having to worry about getting to the sixth floor and finding a Weedle or something like that. I mean, yeah, if I actually did that, I wouldn't have any moments of, uh, so later on, I swear in the story later on, it's linked by how high your rank is. So I was like, oh, hey, yeah, this person got up to this rank, so he's actually going to be doing well. Or his level is probably really high or something. Trigger so, other effects depending on the terrain. Sounds nice, but I'm probably going to sell that too. Okay, I got to be careful because I'm running out of belly. And I need to make sure the belly stays full. Okay. There we go. That's what I like to see. And you missed the second one. Okay, so I just get the head bug going. Oh well. <laughs> Watch me level up just going through this area. I'll be like, ugh. <laughs> because I went from under level to be slightly. I want to say slightly over since they're not doing that much damage to me. But at the same time, I'm not. I'm really not sure. When it comes to Mystery Dungeon games, I like to have like an over level bearing going on. Yeah, he's doing one damage to me, so I'm pretty sure. I'm Slightly over. But of course you can get wrecked anyway if you uh let it happen. Like this Murkrow just did like what seven damage to me. Ooh, more gravel rocks. Let's find those stairs. Oh yeah, I'll probably stop talking about leveling, but that's pretty much everything I did, so that's I have a lot to talk about when it comes to that. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Ow. <laughs> okay. When it comes to games when your health, like your max is like not 999, like Final Fantasy style, having damage that's that much is really, it's really a lot. This <laughs> is like, people really take that kind of damage for granted. But when your HP level is like max is like 99 or something, it could get up to like 255 or something like that. I don't, I don't know what the max is in Pokemon. I've never really seen the max. I think it also depends on the Pokemon itself. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm gonna uh, swap. Chicory to help me out here. I need a heal. Okay, we're having so much fun. Let me heal. <laughs> okay. Okay, can you please just attack it instead of like worrying about me? It's already poisoned. <laughs> what are you doing? Here we go. Okay, now let's eat that apple. I'm glad I don't have to worry about anyone else's belly other than my own. <laughs> because that would have been super annoying if you had to worry about three different bellies. I mean, granted, that would have made the game a little bit more uh, item-centric and maybe a little harder. Be kind of nice if someone like ROM hacked the GBA version. I don't know how the DS hacking scene is or anything like that, but uh, yeah, like hack the GBA version, make a ROM hack, and be like, oh hey, harder version. You have to worry about everyone else now too, more than you have to because they're kind of dumb idiots. Not that I'm hating on the game or anything, I'm just saying sometimes they're really stupid. <laughs> like just earlier, where Chicken already used poison powder over like what, three times? Okay, Murkrow. Good. I'm liking that Lady Boss actually pulling his weight. Let's see. Oh, hello. Chick Rita, get up here. Get. Oh, okay. This is what I'm talking about where the AI is a little bit done sparse. Um. Uh, <laughs> because I swear he 
I swear Razor Leaf can go through me. I swear he did it before. I don't know. I can give him some rocks, but he's probably going to not use them or waste them all. There. Now you should be able to attack it. There you go. Oh, hey, look at that. He leveled up. <laughs> Yay, I leveled up. I get happy seeing others level too. All right, so where are we? Still here. No stairs. The stairs are probably somewhere in the middle, so that's going to be fun looking for that. You know, I really, really want to get another Pokemon in my party because during that entire grinding session, nobody wanted to join my party. It's like, oh, you're doing nothing but slaughtering us? How about no? <laughs> It's like, here, I'm actually story progressing, so it'll be nice if one of them's like, yeah, I'll join your team. Okay, I'm gonna need some comet punches going on. Help me out here. There you go. Because right now, I'm pretty much doing all the work. Again. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not surprising in any shape or form. So you can do supersonic with... You can do it from corners and stuff. Why aren't you using them? I swear you have all this stuff. Oh, I level 22. Yay, I leveled up. I don't feel as lonesome. Really? Okay. Oh, finally. Uh, synthesis. Source the user HP. The amount of HP regained depends on the weather. Huh. Hmm. Have damage or restore age. Wow, that's uh. I'm going to actually. Man, that is a hard choice. I rarely say Muse Tackle, but apparently he uses it. Uh, let's see. He doesn't use Poison Powder as often, honestly. He uses it. He uses it about as much as he uses Reflect. And you know what? I'm just gonna forget it for now. Yeah. If I come up with a different setup, I'll go with that. Yippee! I love it up. Let's just go with that, see how it goes. Hello. Come closer. Oh boy. Uh, okay, good. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, oh no, oh no. I thought I saw more enemies. Getting to that point where it's getting a little bit frustrating. Oh, this is a thing. The moment I say he doesn't use it, he uses both of them, so maybe not able to decide any further. Yeah, the extra poison damage is slightly nice. Ow. Don't do that. I'm gonna focus energy on you. Critical hit. I like focus energy because it helps with critical hits, especially if you like use focus energy and then you use a move. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? That was awesome. I never seen him do it that many times because everything usually like fainted quicker than that. Oh my gosh! Stop enduring things. Please, please. Ha! Ah, that was annoying. Let's just go. <laughs> Let's go after that one. That was not worth the effort or time. Okay, there's another Heracross, and he used Endure, too. Oh, good, he missed, so let's uh, start beating it up before he actually gets it off. Okay, get a little bit closer. I need somebody attacking as well. Or I can beat it before that happens. Never mind. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. Ooh, okay. That's another one I can sell. I mean, I could deposit all these and have them if I need them, but honestly, nothing really good so far. Even the ones I picked up off camera, they were pretty much the same exact stuff. It's like, oh, hey, do I want defensive lowering moves or do... It's like, mm. <laughs> Hello, getting hungry again. Chikorita, you can reach it now. So hit it, please. There you go. Hello, enemies.
Okay, he's gonna move closer. There we go. Just <laughs> how many more floors? I think they said ten. Was it ten or was it thirteen? Ah, oh, man, I don't even remember. Let's see. I'm at seventeen. I'm gonna use an apple, just in case. Aha! That way I can hit you and you're not even facing me. Man, somebody needs to join my party. <laughs> I'm supposed to be a rescue team, not a rescue. I do everything. <laughs> That's kind of how the first game was, though. The next games do it rather... They do it better a little bit. Yeah, oh well. I really like this one. I... I like the story of the second one more, so we'll, we'll see that when that happens. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's still a good, overall good time. It was the first, it was a concept. It's like Pokemon Conquest. Does anybody even remember that game? <laughs> because I barely do. Okay, I'm gonna stay away from that because that would probably have hurt a lot if it hit me. Okay, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. I have two grass types on my team, hello. Let me, uh, yeah. There you go. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's this way then. There it is. Oh, hello. Let's not waste any time. I say that now, and I was like, I'm gonna need a grind again. <laughs> I'm good with Comet Punch, though, as long as he keeps the PP for it up, because I feel like he's using it a little bit too much. Uh, yeah. Duh. Moves. Oh, good. He has a lot still, so he's fine. So, he'll be a good hard hitter. Okay. And he has the standard tackle too, if he doesn't want to waste Comet Punch. But of course, he's going to use the ones that are less convenient, probably. I don't know how. He's been using Comet Punch rather reliably, so. Hello. Yes, we finally made it to the top, Azure. This is the Hill of the Ancients. Look, over there. Azure, is that Zatu over there? Excuse me, are you maybe Zatu? Hello? Maybe he doesn't hear me? Hello? Hello? It's useless, he's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his feet. Uh, how about we tickle him? Huh? Tickle him? Okay, it's worth a try. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> <sighs> No good, Azure. He's not responding. <laughs> huh? <laughs> He's finally laughing now. Is he just dense? Yikes! Witness it. The sinking of the sun. Indeed. I am Zatu. You discerned my true identity. You are not an ordinary sort. Guess your identity? That's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You're no ordinary Pokemon. You are human, yes? Huh? How can you tell that? All day, I stare at the sun, unblinking. Gives me sight for all things. The past and the future, too. If you know, please tell us, Zatu. Next to me is my friend Azure. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon, and without any memory as a human. 
What's that do? You can tell, can't you? Please tell us. The calamities of nature. There have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset. And you're becoming a Pokemon. They are tied together, and separately so. Wait, Azure becoming a Pokemon and... The natural disasters? Are related? What do you mean? What does Azure have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? What is it? Why did you clam up? Please, tell us, please! There are bigger concerns, I am afraid. The world is balance, it must be restored. Or the unthinkable shall befall our world. Huh? You're serious? The world? The unthinkable is coming? Every day I see it, the same future. Every day, I dread it. Zatu? I fear it. The world's destruction. The world's destruction? Keke! <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? That Azure was human. That's going to be useful. This should be interesting. Keke! <laughs> Yes, I would like to say my adventure, and we'll find out where this leads next time on Azure Plays Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. See you guys then.